What's up everyone? So it's uh it's a damn toy hunt. How about that? Uh, I got my mask. Don't freaking worry. I think I'm required to wear a mask to go into a store anyway, so I got my uh good old trusty Darth Maul mask, even though Mr. Ray Park has not been in the best of news recently. So today is new comic book day. It's Wednesday, lunchtime hunt. Going to get my comics. I'm going to add some titles to my subscription at Keith's Comics. But on the way is a Walmart and a Target. I will tell you exactly what I'm looking for at both stores. At Walmart, I am looking for an Optimus Prime Siege figure. I already have the Earthrise Optimus Prime. I want a Siege version. Uh, the Siege cartoon comes out, I think, Friday. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard nothing but good things about it. I've heard it's a little dark. But uh, I'm looking for the Optimus Prime. It's kind of hard to find the regular Siege Optimus Prime right now. Uh, the one that I think I might find is the cell shaded one, which I'm good with. I think that looks very cool. It's very unique, very distinct. So I'm good with that one if I can find that one. And this road is bumpy as frick right now. But uh, I'm looking for Optimus Prime at Walmart and at Target, I am looking for good old Beachhead. Beachhead and Baroness. You'll know that I found the Cobra Trooper and the uh, Attack on Cobra Island Roadblock. So uh, I am looking for the rest in that wave. Baroness with the, I think it's called the coil bike or the freaking snake that she comes with is called the coil. I have no friggin' idea. I just want the Baroness. It looks damn good. And uh, I also want the uh, beachhead. That's actually the one that I wanted the most is the beachhead. But uh, I'll be looking for those and I'll be looking for a Spider-Man from the Marvel Legends retro wave. Am I gonna find anything at all? I have no friggin' clue, but I'm going to look for those items. We'll see what I find, and I'll show you exactly what I see. All right, I'm at Walmart and uh, got a mask up, and they got one entrance, and I got my damn mask on upside down, so that's not right. There we go. That looks a lot better. Damn. All right, so as you saw there, they actually had two of the Casey Jones Raph movie two packs just sitting on the friggin' shelf. Uh, obviously, I didn't pick them up because I already have it. Uh, I did pick this up. So mission accomplished on the uh, Walmart visit because I got this right here. Optimus Prime, Siege, cell shaded, friggin' sweet ass paint job. One of the coolest paint jobs I've ever seen on an Optimus Prime figure. And I got it for 26 bucks and 86 cents, because it was on sale. I think that entire uh, line that they did, the Cell Shaded Megatron, Cell Shaded Optimus, the other, what is it, 35th? 35th, those are all on sale right now, so hit up your Walmarts, uh, but uh, damn, yeah, I was not expecting to see the KC and RAF just sitting there, chilling. 
Uh, and they also had the uh, the NECA exclusive, uh, what's his ass? Gremlin. Stripe. I think that was Stripe. But uh, they had that too. So pretty damn cool to see those in the wild. I'm going to go to Target right now. I'm going to see what they got. Hopefully they got some Joes out. Uh, I'm looking for Beachhead, Baroness. But uh, let's go see what they got. All right, guys. We are here at Super Target. Not just a Target, but a freaking Super Target. And uh, I'm going to show you what they got. So, ow, that freaking hurt my ear. So, they had uh, Luke and Yoda on Dagobah. They had two of those that someone had tried to tuck away. Found those, didn't get those, already got those. They had uh, two of the Power Rangers exclusives chilling on the shelves. They had the Gwen. I had the Gwen in my hand, and I decided not to get her um, because I really just want the Spider-Man, I think, uh, in that wave. I already have the Peter Parker. I have the Green Goblin. I think I just want Spider-Man. Uh, so I left her for the next collector. And um, I actually asked an employee that was stocking the toy shelves uh, some of the DPCI codes uh, for the G.I. Joe figures. And he showed them as in stock. And uh, he explained to me that he could not go back in the back and get them for me because he said that they were actually popping something up on his little thing that said they couldn't sell them till August the 14th. Uh, I then very politely, very politely, uh, explained to him that the manufacturer Hasbro actually changed the street date and I showed him the social media post and he said, honestly, if it's in this system, I'm not allowed to get it. So didn't get mad, didn't get pissed off. He's just doing his job. So um, I'm going to, I guess, try and uh, score the beachhead and Baroness uh, at a later date, maybe on the 1st. I don't know if they're going to break the street date then. Uh, maybe on the 14th, but uh, I'm confident I'm going to find those. I'm pretty confident. I just really want that beachhead. Uh, beachhead looks amazing. So not really a strikeout. It was just the head stuff that I could have bought here, but I decided not to buy it because I just uh, forked over 26 and change for a uh, good old Optimus here. Let me give you one more look at this thing because this thing is badass. I know we just kind of flashed it, but look at that. Look at that paint. Look at that paint job. And I do believe that all Walmarts now have this figure for $26.86 on sale, as well as the uh, Megatron uh, and uh, the other figures in this 35th line are also on sale right now. So hopefully you can find it if you're looking for it. I wanted to get this before Siege War for Cybertron comes out on Netflix. I'm really looking forward to that. But uh, I'm going to go to the comic book store now, get a couple comic books. I'll show you what I pick up there. I might run over to GameStop 
if there's anything there or if they let me in. Last time I tried to go there, they wouldn't let me in because they had freaking five people in the store that were all in one family. But anyway, I'll try and go in, see if they got anything there. But uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. I just passed uh, In-N-Out Burger. And uh, this might be blasphemous to say as a Texan, since I'm a, I'm a registered voter in Texas right now, but In-N-Out Burger is the best fast food burger you can buy. Bam, I said it, I said it. Don't hate me, Texas. I still love Whataburger. I just had a freaking couple bad experiences at Whataburger. I mean, it's always been a close race, In-N-Out Burger and Whataburger, and uh, In-N-Out freaking just, they took advantage. They saw that Whataburger pooped the bed, and they were like, let's move in. Let's move in for the kill. We're gonna get the win, we're gonna get the W. We good old nerdmen here. So uh, let's do it, and they did it. And I friggin' love In-N-Out Burger. Did I come too damn early? Is this comic book store still closed? <laughs> I thought they opened at 11. They are still closed, what the frick? Or are they open? I don't know. Let's go see what they got. She is. All right, guys. Uh, dummy, party of one, right here. Uh, apparently, I thought that this comic store opened at 11. They open at noon, so I'm an hour early. So instead of ending this video by showing you which comic books I picked up, I am going to end this video with yet another Target hunt. I'm gonna go to a Target that I don't usually go to. It's right around the corner. I'm gonna hit it up. I'm gonna see if they got Baroness, Beachhead. I'm gonna see if they got Spidey from the Retro Series. We'll see what they got. Uh, I've, I've actually found stuff at this Target before because uh, it's kind of out of the way, but uh, I will show you what they got there. Crossing the fingers, hoping for some good stuff, but I'll show you what they got. Target number dos. I want my bird. No, I want my bird. I just had a friggin' bird. I, first of all, I'm here at the Target. I'm about to go inside. Got a mask up. I just had a bird fly into the windshield. Not straight on, but he like he he tried to go up at the last second, and he ended up just like butt surfing right up my windshield. Totally fine. Flew off. Totally fine. But just out of nowhere, butt surfing bird. I might even title this video the butt surfing bird because that was a crazy ass experience. Anyway, bam. Let's go see what they got.
All right, guys, so I'm all done at Target, and uh, they had a couple cool things there. They had that spawn exclusive with the axe. Um, didn't pick it up, though. Thought long and hard about picking it up, but I decided not to get it, and I'll probably regret that in about 20 minutes when I get home, and I'll probably want to come back here and get it. But anyway, I didn't get it. Um, I did ask about Joe's. I asked about Beachhead, and I got a date. And the date to come back to this specific Target is August the 3rd uh, because Beachhead is not showing up in stock at any of these targets uh, but she said August the 3rd they will be getting a box in so I'm really looking forward to that I will be coming back to this target on August the 3rd to try and get that Beachhead but uh that's it uh, they had some cool stuff some new stuff that I hadn't seen before specifically like the Jada toys and the die cast cars uh, the Batmobile, there was a mystery machine from Scooby-Doo, and then they had the really, really little ones that looked like micro machines of Optimus and then two bumblebees, but uh, some, some cool stuff in there. Just uh, nothing that tickled my fancy that made me want to shell over some dollars for, but uh, definitely still looking for Beachhead and Baroness, and I'm very, very happy with this Optimus Prime figure. So I guess that'll do it for this video, but thanks for joining, thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. I'll do more hunt videos uh, and then more haul videos and more live streams and all that good stuff. But uh, that's it for now. Please give a thumbs up if you like the video, but uh, I'll see you guys soon. Adios for now and have fun collecting.